Hey guys, James here. Today we're going to talk real quick about how to do bank deposits in QuickBooks Online from House Call Pro or just in general. So for those of y'all using House Call Pro, um, what happens is when you receive the payment in House Call Pro, it's going to go ahead and put the money in your undeposited funds. From there, you have to physically go in and do a bank deposit. Now, if you're using House Call Pro in their credit card processor, then it's going to go ahead and move those funds for you from undeposited funds into the bank account automatically without an issue. However, if you are doing, excuse me, if you are receiving cash, check, or other payments, you have to go in and actually do a bank deposit. So to do that, what we're going to do here is we're going to come to this new icon with the little plus over here, and we're going to select bank deposit. From there, this is going to show us any and all checks that we have available to be deposited. From there, we're going to select the checking account or the bank account that we're putting it into, the date that we've deposited these funds into the account, and then put a check mark by each and every transaction that we have going on. If you receive a check from someone who you didn't send an invoice, then you can come down and add funds to this deposit down here without creating an invoice. So that would be for maybe you get a um, refund on your rent on the building or maybe you get a refund for something from one of your vendors and you get a check back and you don't put in a refund receipt or something like that. You can put that information there. But as for standard invoice payments, they're going to show up right here. You can just put a check mark by it with the date that you're putting it in. And then you will be good to go once you hit save and close. Once you hit save and close, it records it in your books that it's been deposited into your bank account as of that date. That's fairly simple, guys. What you'll see happen from there is we can then come to your... Hold up, sorry. My image was in the way. Come to your chart of accounts and then we are able to view the checking account and the register and it will show up right in here on your checking account register for the date that you had selected and it will also allow you to go ahead and then go in there to make any reconciliations anything and everything like that so that's how we go ahead and record bank deposits and mark invoices as actually deposited and not just paid as always, guys, if you have questions, concerns, or comments, please let me know. Thank you very much.